Rush, a long-term processing shelter for migrants in southern New Mexico, finally scheduled to open today. That's why the facility is a former U.S. Army Reserve outpost with room to support up to 170 migrants at a time. The city of Las Cruces was set to debut the center on Friday, but last week the city said the debut would be de delayed until today, today rather, at the earliest. Meanwhile, the border crisis now causing conflict between Otero County and the governor. During a Fox News interview on Sunday, County Commissioner Cui Griffin says that Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham has yet to respond to the county's request to declare a state of emergency. Officials say they will consider suing the state if they don't receive help. Kristen. A Pacific storm and a cold front combined over the state to help spread out the showers that we have out over the four corners by lunchtime and then continuing to push into central locations this afternoon and this evening. Albuquerque was a spot shower possible tonight. We're also going to be watching for some severe storms out towards the eastern state line later this evening into the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning showers up north and we're pretty much going to be looking at the showers confined to the northern half of the state through Tuesday afternoon. Crystal. This morning video is showing the danger is some faced as a police chase in southern New Mexico reached speeds of over 100 miles an hour. The video shows drivers on Highway 285 between Artesia and Roswell dodging a man who was dodging police yesterday. Police say they tried to stop 20 year old Teddy Ray Trujillo when he took off towards Roswell. Officers used spike strips to eventually stop him. This morning police are looking for a man accused of stabbing someone near UNM. Officers say the suspect was seen last night running toward Johnson Field on campus. They say the suspect is a Native American male wearing a yellow checkered shirt and khaki pants. An Albuquerque dad accused of driving drunk back on the road this morning. An officer spotted Johnson Nez Jr. last week driving erratically, then pulled him over. Police say Nez admitted to having shot before going to pick up his kids from the movies. He was released from jail over the weekend. Investors are trying to get in on what could be a multi-billion dollar hemp boom. In July, hemp will become legal in the state. According to the journal, local business leaders are trying to invest in the estimated $2.6 billion industry. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham recently signed the first of its kind bill, expanding both commercial and industrial uses of hemp. New Mexico Democrats re-elect a familiar face to become their chairwoman. Mar Marge Elliston is, of Corrales will be the chairwoman for another two-year term of the party. The body also elected Marcus Porter to serve as the vice chair. This morning, President Trump working to win over states he lost in 2016. That does include New Mexico. Campaign managers say their focus is on Colorado, Nevada, New Hampshire, and the land of enchantment. They did not elaborate as to how they plan to gain more voters here. A stolen therapy pig is back home safe this morning. Sydney Forestal says her pet pig, Barbie, was found in the backyard of an abandoned home on yesterday. And now on Wednesday, she says the pig was taken from her front yard by two men in a black pickup truck. Barbie is a well known is well known rather from her work in the community as a mascot for different local yoga events. We're looking ahead for you. The National Hispanic Cultural Center is set to open soon. The center was closed for repairs after a fire broke out. According to the journal, repairs went as planned. The repairs do include new paint, wallpaper, and carpet. Investigators say a security guard and his friend are responsible for the fire. Kristen. Today's Metro Threat Index out of five. We've got some breezy conditions coming in this afternoon. 15 to 25 miles per hour out of the south. Cooler temperatures today compared to the weekend. We're pushing 70s this afternoon. And those showers possible later this evening here in Albuquerque. Today's going to be that only day of significant rain chances we have for the week. David? Holloman Air Force Base units are preparing to head to Utah for training. Now, two fighter wings will host a simulated combat exercise at the two week long meeting taking place at the Utah Training Range. The training will also include a weapons evaluation. Officials say pilots will head out in waves. That training will take place next week. Happening today, the I-25 Rio Bravo interchange is opening a new loop for eastbound drivers. The loop leads to northbound I-25. DOT says traffic may be congested there for a few days until drivers get used to the new configuration. The $55 million project is expected to wrap up this summer. This morning, the National Senior Games are already breaking records. Event coordinators say they're expecting more than 13,700 athletes. That's up from 12,000 in 2017. New Mexico has the most athletes participating with over 1,500. Athletes aged 15, 50 rather, and older from across the country will compete in 20 different sports during the 12-day competition. One of the big stars of the Jumanji sequel, Jack Black, is getting attention here in the state. But if you're ever in Farmington, New Mexico, be sure to hit Three Rivers. It's a rad bar and grill. That's right. Jack Black is in the state working on the sequel alongside The Rock and Kevin Hart.
The Ice Topes are looking forward to a home game tonight, coming off a tough loss over the weekend. The Topes were looking to take four games last night, but filed to the Salt Lake Bees 18 to four, or rather eight to 14. Topes will return home, hosting a four-game series with Sacramento. Game one tonight starts at 6:35 at Isotopes Park. Christy. Time now for a check on traffic. We do have an accident that's got the right lane blocked of eastbound Paseo at Rio Grande, so delay is there. We also got our news tracker out on the interstate this morning. Uh, typical slowdowns, nothing out of the ordinary, though. Of course, we'll keep eyes on this for you throughout the morning. A new app called Green Pal is helping you find someone to mow your lawn. The app connects people with local pre-screened lawn care workers. The app's co-founder says the company will start in Albuquerque and hopefully expand to other parts of the state. Okay. We are taking you back nine years ago on this day, April 29th, 2010. We had really strong winds here in the Rio Grande Valley. Clocked in a 99 mile per hour wind gust up at Sandia Peak and a 63 mile per hour wind gust at the stem port. So that was on this day nine years ago. We take you now to the five facts. Number five here this summer, you'll be able to check out the worlds of The Walking Dead and Harry Potter in Albuquerque. We already told you about Jason Momoa, a.k.a. Aquaman, making an appearance at the New Mexico Comic Expo. The expo just announced three more big names in the lineup. Elijah Wood, Ja Bernthal, and Tom Felton. The expo runs August 16th through the 18th at the Albuquerque Convention Center. For more details, go to alwaysonkrqe.com. And number four, many are trying to get in on what could be a multi-billion dollar hemp boom. In July, hemp will become legal here in the state. According to the journal, local business leaders are trying to invest in the estimated $2.6 billion industry expected nationwide by 2022. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham recently signed the first of its kind bill expanding commercial uses of hemp. It's most commonly used for things like CBD oils, textiles, and cosmetics. At number three, slightly cooler to start the week. We've got showers breaking out over the north and west this afternoon. More centrally located this evening. Spot severe storms possible in eastern New Mexico tonight. Drier conditions tomorrow with storms up to the north and everyone looking at warmer and quieter conditions midweek. At number two this morning, police are continuing their search for the suspect in a stabbing at Gerard and Central near UNM. Officers say the suspect was seen last night running toward Johnson Field on campus. They say the suspect is a Native American male wearing a yellow checkered shirt and khaki pants. If you know anything, you're asked to call police. Number one now this morning, one New Mexico county is considering suing the governor over the border crisis. During a Fox News interview on Sunday, County Commissioner Coy Griffin says Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham has yet to respond to the county's request to declare a state of emergency. The county is asking the National Guard to reopen border checkpoints to block incoming migrants. The governor is suggesting they direct their concerns to Border Patrol and Homeland Security.